Hi, welcome to Clark Technologies. So, this is our third video of uh, Splunk integration series. So, in our uh, previous two videos, we have seen uh, how, what is Splunk, how to configure, how to install, and all, and, and uh, how to send any point studio logs to Splunk. Now, in this video, we will see how to um, send on premise logs to Splunk, like how to integrate Splunk with a MuleSoft standalone on premise server. Uh, uh, to do that, I will deploy the same application into on-premise server. I will just stop here. I will clear the console. Okay. Uh, if you are having any uh, doubt like how to install Mule standalone server and how to deploy application over there, you can watch our previous video where we can uh, we have dis I mean explained everything in detail. How to install the standalone server and how to deploy the application like that so you can just go through those videos you will get better understanding okay so now i am just exporting this so once i export this i can uh, deploy this into on-premise server uh, it is in user slacks okay so I am going to deploy this in on-premise server first. Let me just grab that jar file. This one. So I will go little quick fast here because I have already explained how to deploy this in on-premise server. So now uh, I am starting the on-premise server so my on-premise server is getting started and to start this you need to go to the bin folder of the mule standalone server where you have extracted and then you can just type mule and enter okay i have explained this in detail in my previous video so just watch that video if you have any doubt how to install on-premise server and how to run this uh, you will get better understanding okay so now as i have already placed my application here in the apps folder to deploy this application in on-premise server so once the server is up it will automatically deploy my application into this on-prem server once the application is deployed it will uh, the jar file is getting extracted into a normal folder and it will create one anchor text file you will see the changes here okay it is started the default domain Yeah, you can ignore this failed one because that mule demo clarity is the other one uh, so we have deployed this one now so test the project log it is showing deployed for this application and the anchor file is getting generated for this application so it is deployed so now how we can transfer these logs to splunk just like we did earlier so you need to first take this path where the logs is getting generated see here in the logs folder uh, this test project log is getting generated so it will just um, use any point platform i mean any point studio logs folder path uh, folder structure is similar to this on-premise server structure if you can observe carefully right so now we need to copy this path because this is the logs folder where the on-premise server logs are getting generated so now go to the Splunk just like we did 
go to the settings data inputs and uh, the method is same but the thing is we need to change the directory so new local directory you need to give this logs one click on next now here change to search and reporting i have explained this in my previous video of uh, sending logs to um, any point logs to Splunk so you can have better understanding over there now the domain i have created a mule local for earlier one now i will create a mule on prem just to differentiate okay so mule on prem i am giving this is my domain now let's click on save let's review and let's submit so start searching now if you can see uh, for this particular domain you have 474 events only containing all the other project logs as well but if you can search for last 15 minutes i think there will be a few server logs only the like a mule ee logs because we have just deployed that application huh? so deployment logs will be visible there is no application specific logs so let's test this um, maybe with the same thing let's test and yeah, now this time you will not see any logs here in this studio because i just stopped this application here and i deployed in on-premise server so on-premise server logs will get generated here now let's uh, refresh this or maybe let's click on search see now it is to 91 events in last 15 minutes and if you can see your application logs also see first logger i have first logger is there second logger third logger and in second logger i have printed the payload because i have deployed the same application in on-premise server okay so this is how you can search the logs in Splunk and you can integrate the Splunk with on-premise server but you have to remember in your real-time project you will uh, get installed this Splunk and a mule standalone server both in the uh, project server not in your local system so in that case uh, you need to make sure while uh, uh, configuring this one this file and directories uh, this new file directory while configuring this uh, on-premise server logs it won't be your local directory path it will be a server directory path where the Splunk and mule on-premise server is getting deployed this thing you need to remember remaining will be same okay so let me go back so i think this is very useful for you this video is useful for you uh, so this is how you can uh, configure on-premise logs to your splunk you can search by using index so i have created uh, mule on premise this on premise index so i have seen only those logs but earlier i have given mule local is the index in my previous video right while i have transferred uh, that uh, any point studio logs so there i have seen only six events for that particular index but now i have given mule on prem this is the on premise server logs i am actually sending it to Splunk. So here we have we can see 291 events. So based on the index you have given, you can search and maybe based on the event ID or any unique ID you can search based on the last time you can search. So you can use multiple parameters to search the logs and to get the logs in Splunk once you configure this. So I hope this video is useful for you to integrate a Splunk with on-premise server, how to send on-premise server or standalone server logs to Splunk. Uh, in our next video, we will see how to send Cloud Hub logs to Splunk. Okay, thank you. Please subscribe, like and share our videos to get more tutorials. Let's see in our next video.